Greetings, everyone, and a warm welcome to another edition of Marketing the Invisible. My name is Tom Poland, beaming out to you from Little Castaways Beach here in Queensland, Australia. Joined today by Guy Bauer. Guy, um, g'day, sir. Very warm welcome. Where, where, are, you, where are you based? Uh, I am in a little suburb of Chicago, Illinois, uh, called Elmhurst. Elmhurst. Well, welcome. Um, folks, if you don't know Guy, he's the founder and creative director of... Umalt. Umalt. Thank you. U-M-A-U-L-T. Now, that's an agency that makes wildly creative business-to-business -business video marketing campaigns, which people actually want to watch and watch again and again and again. And and, and I love the guys nominated the title for the interview, and I, and I love it, guy. I have to say, it's it's called it's the title of this interview is Death to the Corporate Video. You know the ones that the banks put out, and the you know maybe some of the government departments put out, and so on. So let's uh, let's get into this and let's find out how a guy works with his clients to create videos that are engaging and interesting and that generate revenue. Guy, our seven minutes is going to start now, sir. Question number one is who is your ideal client? Our ideal client are marketers who work for B two B brands, and usually these B two B brands sell complicated or hard to explain things, right. like cloud, AI, digital transformation, complicated financial products. Um, those are our clients, right? So, question number two, and six and a half minutes left. We're doing well so far. What's the problem you solve for them? Because I'm, I'm mean, hearing in that there's some complicated. Uh, explanation required. So, so how do you solve that problem? Right. And so our clients are B2B marketers and they have increasing pressure to make a splash with their brand, uh, especially as, you know, competition proliferates and there's big brands, you know, big behemoths like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, and every day they expand into more and more B2B services. So right. our clients uh, are having to compete on a brand level uh, with these big behemoths that have tons of brand recognition. And so yeah. how do you do that? It requires a different set of, um, it, it requires a different way of thinking. No longer can our clients go to market with just uh, features and benefits uh, put in bullet in, in the form of bullets in a video yeah. uh, and the video acts and sounds more like a video white paper, a corporate video. They have to go to market with a, they have to battle on a brand level, not just a feature and benefit level. And so we help them with that. So it, it's not only articulating the value proposition as it were, but it's also standing out, making that splash, getting the cut through, getting people's attention and engagement. Okay. So, exactly. so let's go to question number three, five minutes left. What would you say are some of the typical symptoms that your ideals clients experience before they find your solution? What's going on in their business? So our deal clients are um, marketers who have that feeling that the stuff we're making is not, uh, or the stuff they're making, sorry, isn't cutting the mustard, right? right? It's 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 work that just feels corporate. It just doesn't feel exciting. Mm. Uh, they're not seeing excitement in their prospects. And so they know that there's something wrong and and typically what it is is it's that they're making corporate video and i mean i i use that term as a very uh, it's like a negative thing corporate video um but we you know all all video that a corporation makes i guess technically fits into the corporate video category but corporate video when you think of that there's a negative connotation it feels corporate it feels stale it feels devoid of creative it's sweaty executives in forced interviews it's slow motion people collaborating in a conference room what right. it is is it's there is no story and what usually makes a corporate video a corporate video is the story is focused on us rather than our clients right. and we come in and we help so, fix so, that so true so um, thank you for that. Three and a half minutes left. Question four, you're dealing with smart people who are aggressive in their marketing and, and their business goals. So they're going to be, they're going to notice what's going on. They're going to try stuff that may not work. So what are some of the common mistakes? Maybe a couple of common mistakes that, that you, you, when you talk with a new client, you find out they've been making. Yeah. The biggest one is that they're rushing into making the video, 
rather than stepping back and thinking about a strategy right. and a message and an idea, they they think of all that stuff on the way to the production, on the way to the shoot. Everyone has such go fever to press record, they don't give enough weight to what it is they are filming. And that's a usually the, the main culprit. And that's probably the hardest part is it, just figuring out the strategy and what the story is and the the rest of it's probably more technical. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Thank you. So yep. let's go to question five, two and a half minutes left. What's a valuable free action that someone could take? It's probably not going to solve the whole problem, but it might take it a step in the right direction. Yeah. Um, stop rushing to make a video, <laughs> which is so counterintuitive. If, if you want to make a video, don't make a video yet. Right. Try to put more time into pre into making the video on paper. It's going to save you so much more money if you pre visualize your video, and don't um, don't undervalue the um, don't underestimate the value of sleeping on it, of just having time to think. Right. That's all the valuable time. The making of the video is the easiest part of the whole thing, actually. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, okay. So strategy before tactics, thought before execution. So question number six, sir, uh, and we've got one minute, 45 seconds left. Where can folks go to get more more, more ideas, more information, more help? One, one valuable free resource we could direct people to. Yeah, so we have a free guide, Seven Ways to Avoid Making a Corporate Video. Uh, we set up a landing page for your visitor, uh, for your listeners, tumult.com slash the invisible, U-M-A-U-L-T dot com slash the invisible. Uh, we also have a free um, masterclass telling your B2B brand story with video, and we don't ask for an email or any kind of thing. Wow. <laughs> it, just go watch all, I think there's seven or eight episodes. Fantastic. Um, so, yep. so there's quite a rich resource there, folks. www.um for Mary, a u l t, umal, dot com forward slash the invisible. Um, Guy, thanks for that. That's going to be valuable for folks. Question number seven. We've got fifty seconds left. Uh, What's the one question I didn't ask you but should have? And the answer, please. Uh, is so. What is video strategy? Because I mean, strategy before execution. That's Everybody says that, right? So yeah. video strategy is this. Here's my metaphor is that video is a delivery mechanism, just like how a missile works. So a missile without a warhead uh, is if you were just let lob a missile over to a target without a warhead, it would just hit the ground and do nothing. Uh, the missile is worthless without a warhead. The strategy is the warhead. The video is the missile. Don't go rushing into making an empty missile that just hits with a thud. You need to build the warhead. And I would argue that the warhead is more important than the actual. Well, I guess they're equally important, Perfect. but you have to stop ignoring the warhead. The Guy Bauer, thank you so much for your time. <laughs> My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Tom. Thanks for checking out our Marketing the Invisible podcast. If you like what we're doing here, please head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate us, and leave us a review. It's very much appreciated. And if you want to generate five fresh leads in just five hours, then check out www.5hourchallenge.com.